For the last 20 years, we've been working on the same problem, which is to reduce the number of babies that suffer brain damage um, because of problems around the time of birth. And we started off working in the laboratory, trying to work out what the mechanism of this would be. And then once we had some idea of what the mechanism was, we moved on to clinical trials to try and find treatments to, to prevent these problems happening. And it turns out that there's a very simple way of making a very significant impact in the future for these babies. Experimental studies over several years showed that um, cooling the brain by three or four degrees after suffering lack of oxygen reduces swelling and inflammation in the brain uh, and, uh, and reduces the severity of brain damage. Um, this led on to clinical trials um, of which uh, the TOBI trial was the largest um, and which we led, uh, which confirmed that treatment with cooling for 72 hours uh, reduces brain damage and increases the chances of survival uh, with a normal outcome. Cooling involves reducing the baby's temperature um, by 3 to 4 degrees Celsius down to uh, a temperature of 33.5 to 34 degrees Celsius. Normally this is done by nursing the baby over a blanket through which cold um, fluid is circulated. So we've set ourselves to set up a, a very clear-cut um, centre which will develop new treatments in the laboratory and bring them through to clinical trial for the first time. So we've managed to recruit some extraordinarily fine scientists from around the world to come and work with us. Uh, we now have a very effective laboratory which is working on new treatments and we've also got ways of bringing these treatments into, uh, into the clinical trial. And one of the cores of our ability to do this is the fact that we have ways of testing new drugs and testing new treatments to see whether they're having any effect on the babies that we're trying to help. The, the main method we have for this is imaging. We have a, our own magnetic resonance imaging system which we've used to develop ways of testing treatments. And this now provides us with a tool to bring new treatments into clinical practice which is unparalleled anywhere else. We found that um, treatment with cooling uh, reduces the abnormality on the brain scans in many important parts of the brain and this probably uh, explains why the babies treated with cooling have a better neurological outcome than those who did not get treatment. Cooling is now pretty much standard of care and should be applied across the, across the country and indeed across the world. Um, but it doesn't save every baby. So we're now looking at things that we can add on to cooling to make it more effective. And our first treatment is a uh, first additive treatment. is something which has been discovered again in Imperial College by Professor Franks in the biophysics department, which is the fact that um, an elemental gas, xenon gas, is a very potent protector of the brain um, in the context that we're using it. So we have a study running which will um, combine xenon, in inhalation of xenon gas with cooling and then we will test the baby's response to this using our MR scanner and this means we can do the study in a relatively small number of children and find out whether the treatment really does work uh, rapidly and effectively.